Dude, I feel weird about this hat, man. I just think it looks stupid. It like sits on my head weird. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm What's wrong with that hat? I don't know. I just feel like I look dumb in this hat. Like I don't know what I'm who am I trying to be being hat guy? It just looks weird, man. Why are you, I should I shouldn't have worn this. Why today. are you insecure about the hat, buddy? I'm not insecure about the hat. Don't the ha- don't the insecure hat, the hat me. The hat looks great, man. The hat looks Thanks. fantastic. Okay, well, it goes with the fit. Thank you. The drip is real. Thank you. The hat looks great, Grayson. Well, I'm not, but I'm not insecure about it. A king needs his crown, Grayson. Thank, thank you, thank you. It's a good hat, bud. What's going on, all you insecure iguanas? My name's Mason. And my name is Grayson. And welcome to The Modern Dude. A podcast by dudes, for dudes, helping dudes become better dudes. Dude! So, here's the deal. Uh, Today's episode is about, you guessed it, insecurities. And before we get into the meat and potatoes of this episode, we kind of just wanted to blanket statement this whole thing by saying what the problem with insecurities are is that people view them as a problem. People view them as something negative or a weakness. And what winds up happening is when we feel that way, we go to far lengths to try to change those insecurities, Mm -hmm. which is ridiculous because everyone in the world has them. It doesn't matter how famous or rich or beautiful or popular or talented that somebody is, trust me when I say they still have insecurities. But it's viewed as a weakness. So they try to change those things. And unfortunately, that can manifest in really bad ways. For dudes, this leads to bravado that's unnecessary and toxic traits that we kind of want to talk about and address Mm -hmm. today. (laughs) So for me, Gray, yeah. the word insecurity used to be a trigger for me. Yeah. It used to literally trigger insecurity. Mm-hmm. Because whenever it was brought up, whenever, especially when Mary Grace, my partner, and I would talk about things, even if it was, she wasn't like telling me I was being insecure, she was yeah. like, oh, that's, an inse- that's like a trait that like marks insecurity, it like ruffled me. Sure. You know? Well, in, in an argument standpoint, too. Absolutely. People can use that as a way. As a, to, as a weapon. As, as a weapon, you know, which. But even sucks. besides that, it still triggered me because it made me feel insecure. It made right. me feel weak. It made me think about the things that I didn't like about myself. Mm-hmm. The words got power to it. Oh, my God. So much so. Um, and, and, you know, it, it just flares up all those things that makes you insecure. Just right. hearing the word is triggering. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's goes for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, and I know you and I have talked about this many times before. Sure. And like people, there's so many things that can make you insecure. Mm-hmm. I mean, from weight, weight has been a one for me. Sure. Insecurity about sure. weight not, not being fit enough, not being trim right. enough. Right. Um, uh, Feeling stupid. Feeling stupid. I know that's one you and I have talked about a lot. Yeah, I think that's a I think that's a really big one that almost everybody uh can relate to. Yeah. You know, having somebody tell you that you're oh, you said that wrong or you know sure. and there's a difference between having friends that you can make jokes with. Sure. And in a safe kinda, place, you in know. In a safe place and make fun. And like it's even okay. Like there's a certain level to which like you and me like to give each other a hard time, but banter is is different, but even banter yeah. can get out of control. It can get out of control. Yeah. And I think you know, you have those friends like with you, we've, we've taken a little too far of before, course we have. but we've been able to communicate about it and talk yeah. about it. And that grows the relationship For so sure. that when we start getting to that point again, we go, uh, let's, let's not go there. <laughs> no, no, no. We talked about this. <laughs> we can stop it before it gets to that Absolutely. point. You know what I mean? So, but a lot of people, I also think that what's crazy is the insecurity meta goes so deep because People that are telling you that you're stupid or trying to make you feel dumb, that that's comes, insecurity. That, that's sometimes insecurity. that comes from an insecurity of trying to be right, right. trying 
them try not to look stupid or trying to be the smartest person trying, in the room. Absolutely. Or, oh my gosh. That's the yeah. one for me too. Like being, uh, trying to be the most clever or one upping someone. For like sure. you want to be the fun, cool guy. Mm -hmm. And then that spirals out of control and then you just turn it into an asshole. Right. <laughs> and so that's like another right. toxic insecure thing. And then sometimes you're like, well, I'm already here. So I'm, I'm too insecure to apologize that I've been that way. So I'm doubling the fuck down. I'm just gonna continue oh to be. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that double down. Oh. Uh, you, and then you, you just go, you just oh, yeah, go you, all in. It literally spirals. Yeah. And, that, and that comes from uh, feeling a way about your, it's, it's such an, it's just such an insecure rabbit hole you can find yourself Absolutely. down. Absolutely. Um, and so, Gray, you know, we are far from experts in this field. Sure. Um, and obviously that's part of, we, we can make that disclaimer every time we do this podcast. <laughs> um, but we did want to have like a little bit of a, maybe an expert opinion about some of this stuff. Absolutely. Uh, so Psychology Today is a, a, an article I looked up, the three most common causes of insecurity and how to beat them. Sure. Um, and so I looked at a couple of different articles and this one was simple and precise and to the point. So the key, the key points that they have are insecurity can be based on recent failures. Research shows up to 40% of one's happiness quotient is based on recent life events. So like failures. Yeah. Failures is a, is a big one. It's that's huge. I think that's as big as, um, I think that in feeling stupid or feeling like whatever, I think those are like neck and neck. I think yeah. because if you have a kind of the same you, thing, yeah. If you, you know? have a a bad experience with something, yeah, and it goes all wrong for you, the next time a similar situation rolls up, right, that insecurity is gonna come right to the fucking forefront. Hundred yeah. percent. Um, uh, the next one is social anxiety from being bullied or having critical parents. God. Well, and that's that's tough too, you know. Um, and that's a whole different thing that like. I can't even begin to sort of even speak on me. And I, I, we've well, yeah. had really, we've been very lucky We're with having very lucky. really great parents who have supported us, wanted us to do kind of what we, uh, our dreams. They've yeah. wanted us to like pursue sure. those things and wanted us. They support what we're doing right here. But you've you know? been, you were bullied. Oh yeah. I mean, I was, we've all been bullied in some way or another. There's, there's very few people in this world who have not been, <laughs> Made, made to look stupid or been criticized by peers of or course, parents at some course. point in their life. Yeah, I But, mean, like, that happened to you when you were... Yeah. We and talked it, about this in uh, our last podcast. Yeah. The kid that fucking smeared... Oh, yeah. I, there was a guy who uh, put uh, peanut butter on my... Or no, 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 no. He put, he put gum on the back of my head, and then he <laughs> lightly put a piece of duct tape, like, on it to where I could barely feel it, and then he told me there was a spider on my head and I like mashed the duct tape down on my head and I was laughed at. And then I had to go to the nurse and she had to put peanut butter into my entire scalp to like ease out the duct tape as to not rip a giant chunk of hair out of my head, <laughs> which talking back now and talking about it is absolutely hilarious, but you have to laugh about that because and that we can get into that later about you know, things that you can it, like combat it with, but exactly, but, but like, things like that. Bully. I mean, people get bullied yeah, all you the know? fucking time. But that thing, the thing is too, like, you have to take those insecurity, you have to take those things in, and grow from it and become better from it. Yeah. Because again, that's just coming from, you know, there's so many things as to why he did that. He oh, could have God. a shitty family. Oh, I'm sure he, he could did. have pressure from other he's probably being bullied in another way from other sure. people to like do Absolutely. something like there's a mob mentality it's like go do this thing to him and it's like oh i need to do that okay yeah. to I'll fit look in cool to that's, fit in that's an insecurity, that's an insecurity. Oh, like God, it's, it's all so rooted man it's oh, all so connected much. so you know you can't I, when looking back on it you know it, it sucks in that time and but you also have to see the other side and realize that when somebody's doing that it's only because they have an insecurity too yeah and communicating it and talking about it now that i'm adult and i Oh, I have a relationship with so friends like Absolutely. you have to be able to talk about it. It's cool to talk about it. It's not weak to talk about no. it. It's not lame to talk about it. People you should be that. open about it's it. It's a strength. It's a strength. I think it is. And we'll too. get more into that. But I got one more uh, one more point from this uh, this article. Uh, and this is an interesting one because the other two are more obvious. Yeah. Um, this one perfectionism not only can cause insecurity, 
but depression, anxiety, eating disorders, and chronic fatigue as well. Like uh, trying to trying to be perfect. I think I struggle with that one the most. I spread myself so thin, and I'm always trying to do everything. I'm always trying yeah. to like be here for this thing and be on time for this thing and knock all of my objectives out for this day that I have, but I don't really have the day off. So on the day off, I have to knock these out, but I also have to be here for this. I have a girlfriend. I have a dog. I have friends. Oh, yeah. I have, I just have, I have two different career things I'm trying to do. It's, and bec when I fall short, it's like, what am I even, why am I even trying? Yeah. Because you know? the thing that like perfectionism causes or like in those insecurities cause all these really fucking shitty things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like insecurity and anxiety go hand in hand the so there. much. One thing that I've learned, uh, especially in my thirties, how much anxiety is a part of everybody. Everything we life. do. Yeah. Every about mm -hmm. bills, about money, about career, career. Oh my God. Relationships. Relationships. And all of that, everything. those things can all stem and flare up from insecurity. So true. Oh my God, man. Yeah. So, so the article also says like, how do we combat those things? Yeah. Um, and that's what we should talk about. What's a dude to do? What's a dude to do? What's a dude to do What's about it? What's a dude to do in a situation like this? Um, Grayson already hit on one thing, like real first, obviously realizing. Yes. <laughs> understanding that you have those things. What was the quote you said the other day to me when we were talking about this? It was um, accepting it. Acceptance is the first step to, to, to combating it. Yeah. You it's, like, it's kind of like the 12 step. It's, thing. Yeah. It's, it's very similar Acceptance to that. Acceptance is the first thing. You got to know that you have it before you can. And you got to be okay with that. You got to own that. Like that is something that you feel insecure about, whatever it may be. And then. That's where so much comedy is about. That's yeah. What, like so accept much, it. Like, it's okay. That's like, what, that's what, if you think about stand up comedians, so many of those people are talking about their insecurities for sure and the way that they are combating them is through comedy right and like that's such a healthy way we do that all the time self-effacing humor yeah. is fantastic 100 percent. yeah that's how, and that's part of the reason you 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 uh combated bullying we talked about this too yeah when you were a kid you said that instead of you know like instead of like wallowing in it you go with it yeah absolutely right sure absolutely i'm a doofus blah 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 and you just like kick it back at them you know well i'd just be like <laughs> I would just be like really weird. I would just like say really weird shit back to them, like to where they would just be like, "Oh, okay, oh, whoa, great, well, that's that's weird. That, that's weird, Grayson. That's too far. Like, like ugh, ugh, you're a weirdo. Like, they, they'd be like, "Yeah, well, your mom," and I'd be like, "No, your mom. I think she's a wonderful lady, and I would do crazy things to her." And they'd be like, "What? What are you talking about, dude? That's weird." And I'd be like, "Your dad too, and your dog." Like, they'd be like, "What are you? Ugh, God, uh, you're, you're messing it up, man. You're messing up my bully flow." And it's like. Uh... You just gotta go all in. You gotta go all in <laughs> against that shit, and be weird about it. You know, like. But yeah, I th I think overall, what to do, accept it, and make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who give a fuck about you in absolutely. a real way, because you are a product of your environment, and sometimes you can't you can't help that. Yeah. But other times you really can. There's so much of your environment that you can control. All this shit is in this article. Yeah. Too. Yeah, it's so much that you can so control much. and the people looking at you and telling you, you know, you can't do this. You can't do that. I love that quote from um, Jay-Z where he talks about how and he, he it's a line in one of his songs, but he talks about how uh, his uncle told him that he, you know, Jay-Z was like, I'm going to sell a million records. I'm, I'm doing this, that. And his uncle's like, how are you going to do that? You're not going to do that. How how could you? That's that's impossible. Yeah. And it's not because it's a lot of the time. It's not even because. The uncle has, you know, it's not malicious. Mm. He just can't fathom it because he had insecurities about his own life and how it's supposed to go and how oh, yeah. that's not, that's so far from attainable. And yet Jay-Z is Jay-Z and has sold far more than a million oh, records. Yeah. So like, you know, it's, it's. It's that product of of your environment and talking to people who are looking at you and going, oh, you're damn God. fucking right, you're going to so, sell a million records. Which is like, exactly like, the hat. The bit. Full the circle. Bit. Full circle. No, but it is. It's just surrounding yourself with people that are going to big up you, the people that are going to that are going to tell you you can yeah. instead of telling you you can't. And or, be real with you. Yeah. But like when people are like, 
oh, I'm just keeping it real with you, man. And they're saying something negative. They're not really keeping it real. They're just being a dick. Like, and there's the a one, way to be real with you yeah. and also be realistic about, like, well, yeah, and nice and, like, supportive absolutely. at the same time. You know? I mean, <laughs> you say you're going to sell them in your records. You got to, like, go for it, obviously. Yeah. But, you like, know, but at the same time, accountable, if you're, yeah, holding you accountable is different than being, like, I don't think that's going to happen. Right. right. Um, no, I, I, let's see what else we got here. Uh, here's a big one. Persevere. The, the next day is coming, regardless. 100%. You don't have a fucking choice. Mm -hmm. So, like, how do you help yourself get to that goal? You know? Give yourself little goals. Yeah. To, to, to overcome those things. If the first thing is, is accepting it, the next thing is, okay, what's, a, what's an attainable goal that I can help myself overcome? Is that the next time someone brings up something that's triggering for me, laughing about it? Right. Seeing how that feels. Yeah. You know? Um... And if that feels good, that's a win. You know, 100%. the next when people do something that you don't like that triggers an insecurity or just your own mental, ha like it can be as simple as just laughing out loud about it. Yeah, like whatever, or just taking a big breath and being mm -hmm. like, "Fucking hey!" Or if that means you need to find that trusted person that we were talking about. Yeah, surrounding yourself with the people that are that are uh, gonna big up you. Yeah, little goals, little goals, man. Also, taking time for yourself if you need it. If you're feeling away about a certain thing, it's not weak to like step away and go and think about it. You, yeah. you need to process it. If that works better for you, if laughing off, laughing it off and just going, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna laugh about it and I'm gonna move on. That's fine. If that works for you, that's good. Sometimes personally, if something hits me, I need to take some time with myself to like kind of give myself a pep talk and be like, yeah, you know what, this is dumb that you're thinking yeah. about this. You know it is. It's okay that you feel this way and insecure about something, it's okay. You are validated in feeling that way. But what really is, you know, what am I gonna do? Just like wallow in it for too long? No. Can't. You gotta sit there, be okay with it, take your time, maybe it's a day. But start that new day fresh. Yeah. And and don't worry about that stuff. And if you if you try and practice that, it'll, it'll, it'll get easier and easier and easier every single time to where you'll get to a point where you're just like kind of comfortable with that insecurity that you have and like, yeah. You own that shit, and, and it's okay. And, and the thing is, like, some of these things may never go away. And that's the thing that we were talking about, too. It's yeah. okay to have those feelings. That's part of the buildup or the build of who you are. Right. Like, that makes you the person you are. Right. Some of, If we don't have insecurities, then we don't have things to overcome. Yeah. And if you can't overcome things, you don't grow. And if you don't grow, then you stay stagnant. Yeah. And if you're staying stagnant... That's not, yeah. <laughs> then, you, then you're not growing, and that's bad. You and know, that sucks. You, you know, should be, people should be. You should be trying to grow every day. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm no doctor, but I feel like that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty. It's sound. a good thing, and I think it's easier said than done, and we know that. Um, of course. Oh my god. But it's also hard. You know, the biggest issue for me is that I don't want to look back and have regrets about not trying to do a thing because yeah. I was insecure about it or not working on something or not, or just letting things hold me back from having and cultivating the life that I, that I want in some way. Yes. Might not look exactly how you want it in your head at first. You're never but gonna, it's never going to be exactly how you want. Never, it. never. But if you're not trying, then you can't even get a version of what it yeah. could look like. Yeah. And that is more important than not doing anything at all. It's okay it. to have insecurities. It's okay to, to feel those things that make you feel weird. And yeah. Weird. But overcoming them is part of the fucking journey, man. Especially as a guy, which oh is God. what we are kind of yeah. like discussing in general and talking about on here. You know, there's as much pressure as there is for all walks of life and all different types of people. For guys specifically, it really always kind of looks a certain way if you're not excelling. If you're not being like survival of the fittest, top of the food chain, like working, getting up every day, yeah. grinding, making money, looking good, girls like you, dudes think you're awesome, you're always put together, you're always whatever. It's like, there's pressure to be like that all the time. Absolutely. And other guys that's will. What, that's what society deems we should be. Yeah, they'll look. We should be the Vogue guy that walks down the street confidently right. and will right. swoon and he right. looks fucking crisp. And if you're not that, then you're not, you're not killing it. If, yeah. if you're not that, then you're not hustling. And like, it's just a fallacy, man. That's bullshit. It's bullshit, it's bullshit. Bullshit. Um, 
and and I think we mentioned it once already, but like obviously we are not professionals on this, and we can say this all the time. Uh, we're not licensed professionals, but also there are licensed professionals that can fucking help more than anything. And and talking to therapists is a godsend. And that's yeah. another thing that people are insecure about. Holy shit. I Go think on. I would benefit from it a lot, and I've always <laughs> felt weird about going yeah. to a therapist. Or I, something I, like I that. did. I have been to therapy. I've been to individual therapy, and I've been to couples therapy, and it literally saved my relationship. And it was so eye-opening to do it for just myself. It 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 started me down a path that I didn't think I could get to. Yeah. Um. So. That's an, that's I guess that's the last thing I'll leave y'all with is that that is not a weakness. Going and talking to someone who's unbiased is an amazing thing because yeah. they don't give they like they have nothing invested in you. They are a sounding board more than anything. Yeah. And of course they have so much training to help too. But like, oh my gosh, just the relief of talking about things that you can't you don't feel comfortable talking about even like your best friend or your partner, you know. It's a godsend. You don't feel comfortable telling me everything? I have told you everything, actually. <laughs> but not, And I'm not but, getting paid that therapy but, money, baby. <laughs> but, only because the check? I, but only because I went to therapy. Oh, and there it is. See? Yeah. And therapy is, again, I know it's not easily accessible for everyone, but it's a lot more accessible than it used you to think. be. And there's, there's, wa- there's ways. There's hotlines. There's, there's different things that you can do. It's a quick Google search away, really. Yeah. Um, also, speaking of Google searches, that uh, that – Article is called "The Three Most Common Causes of Insecurity and How to Beat Them" by psychological. God damn it! I just said psychological. by psychological today. <laughs> psychology today. Psychology today. And I'm not good at reading, and that's one of my insecurities. You shouldn't feel insecure about that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it, dudes. Hope you enjoyed the discussion. Uh, for all questions, comments, and general kerfuffle, go to uh, graysonandmason.com or visit us on any social media platforms at Grayson and Mason. And don't forget, do your dude diligence. Dude!